Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a pandemini kind of speed video commentary uh, chat. We're kind of just going to talk about this printer a little bit more as it prints a speed benchy. I think this benchy is about 10 minutes and 50 seconds or something like that. It's definitely not the fastest benchy that the panda can do. Um, I've definitely done eight minute benchies and things like that, but I just wanted to do a kind of video recording as the printer printed a benchy out and then that would give us some time to chat a bit more about the printer and talk about the print and that kind of thing. So I thought this would be a little bit interesting video for people who want to see the printer actually print a full print, but don't want to watch a live stream or something like that. So. We are just heating it up right now. You can see the filament oozing a little bit. You'll see my hand go in there and grab that filament out before we start printing and whatnot. But anyway, so again, this is Panda Mini. This is uh, around $450 USD to build this printer. It is a hybrid frame. So the frame is a 2020 extrusion with a mix of printed frame parts as well. There goes my hand grabbing that oozing out and then we're going to start printing here. So I don't have a heater on this printer right now. I am going to be ordering a 120 millimeter by 120 millimeter uh, silicone heater, just a 24 volt one here pretty soon. And then I think I'm going to order a uh, Fisec Tiny M bed, I think, for this printer as my actual spec. However, just using this glass bed and just having build tack on it, it does help with speed benchies because we don't have that hot air rising from the bed and warping that bow of the of the print there. So it's kind of a little bit of a, a tip running without a heated bed for speed benchies. You can kind of get squeeze a little bit more out of the printer. Um, you can see on this printer, I do have the new front skirt with the Panda logo on the bottom. I'm really happy with that. Uh, very easy print to print out and you could do a layer change at the last millimeter basically and do a color change if you want. I just used my X1 with the AMS and I just colored it black. I'm really happy with that. Um, so this printer as you can see on the screen there we're running at 40,000 acceleration for most features. However, the outer wall is at 15,000 acceleration. Just trying to get the best quality possible for the outer wall there. Some more stats here are 360 millimeters a second for infill. We're doing 225 millimeters a second for the outer layers. We're doing 350 millimeters a second for inner layers. And then the top and bottom speed, we're doing 220. I will mention that we're only running at 50% cooling. This is not 100% cooling yet. Um, I want to be a little bit cautious with the cooling level on this printer. The reason being is we are running two 120 millimeter fans off of one fan port. And each of these fans consumes half an amp. So that would be one full amp. I think it's totally fine on the SKR Mini, but we don't really need the cooling and I just wanted to be cautious. So if you do build this printer and you're running the fans off of the fan port, just note that, be careful. Um, you don't want to damage your fan port. You can run these fans off of a second extruder port if you have that. The SKR Mini doesn't have an, a second extruder port. So we're just running off of the fan zero port instead. Um, and at 50%, 60%, that's totally fine. I've definitely been running a bunch of benchies with that. So that's totally fine there. This is of course a PLA benchy. I will be doing some ABS benchies later on once I get my front panel designed. You can see I actually do have both fans uh, on now. My previous videos, I had the left side off on the live stream and I also had the left side off on the release video just so I could show the printer off a little bit more. But we are running both fans now and you can see I've added some black extensions to my fan ducts. That's to help level out the airflow. Blower motors tend to throw air really high and I kind of extended them by nine millimeters just with some extension pieces that just press fit on 
to try and get that air going straight across to the nozzle and it's definitely helped the airfall quite a bit so that was kind of a nice um, add-on there I am using Sunlu Meta PLA they sent me two rolls to, to test out it uh, seems to be pretty nice PLA so far their colors their meta colors are very nice they have a creaminess to them um, this is their gray and then I have a green a really nice kind of mint teal kind of green or aqua or whatever um, and it has a really nice kind of uh, creaminess like a pastel kind of color to it it's it's kind of cool so I really do like that um, what's really nice here to see in this in this video and hopefully you can tell um, even though my table is absolute garbage we can see that the bed of the printer is very very solid and I'm very very happy with how the V wheels are working out for the bed they're very smooth and they're constraining the bed perfectly again I think this is probably one of my favorite bed designs that I've done so far I'm very curious to try this out on the full-size Panda and again the full-size Panda will be a 250 by 250 printer with pretty much most of the features on this um, I don't know yet about cooling for the full-size printer I want to use dragon burner tool head on the full-size Panda because I want to give people a little bit more options on hot ends and extruders and that type of thing so the full-size Panda I do plan on using the uh, dragon burner tool head I am running the VZ Hextrudort on this printer this is the mellow version I bought off AliExpress. I do recommend that extruder. It's incredibly high quality. The mellow uh, machining or CNC is really, really nice. It's clean, very smooth, and I've had no problems with the extruder what whatsoever. I think it contributes to really, really nice prints. You could definitely mod this for a Sherpa Mini or something like that. I do believe there is enough room. You can see we are pretty tight at the top of the printer for the actual reverse Bowden and the uh, top of the actual printed panel there. So it does fit, it does work, but I don't think I could move that down even uh, a millimeter. It is it is very tight there. So And um, yeah, we can see the printer here kind of just chugging away at the benchy. It's, it's going pretty quickly, uh, like I say before. This is not meant to be like a official entry to the speedboat race or anything like that. It is using the speedboat rules. So we're running at 0.25 layer height. We're running at 0.5 width, 10% infill every second layer. And um, so it's it's within the all the rules for speed benchy. So it is kind of a valid time, I guess. Um, and like I say, I've done I think my best time so far is, uh, you know, an eight something minute benchy. Uh, I have my computer up here. We can check the history. Uh, I believe I did an eight, eight fifty two is officially my fastest benchy, and it did look okay as well. I don't have that on hand, but um, and these these ten minute benchies do look quite nice. My official clean kind of everyday profile that's capable of doing a 1344 benchy so a 13 minute benchy and if anyone doesn't know the name of the panda printer comes from pandas eat bamboo and i wanted to be able to beat the bamboo labs printers on their benchy time at least out of the box like the stock advertised benchy you know the 16 17 minute benchy i wanted to beat that um, and that's what gives this printer the panda name if anyone wants to know that so that's kind of where I came up with it. it it fits I think it's a pretty neat name for the printer and uh, both this mini printer and the full-size printer should be very high performance uh, really capable printers for you to build this isn't meant to um, be like a direct comparison to any printer you know obviously this is a similar size to the v0 the V0 I think is 10 millimeters uh, smaller and this has a little bit bigger build size. This is a, a very capable printer for PLA obviously as you can see it has uh, out of the box I designed this printer around those 220 millimeter fans so 
there's a lot of concessions that I had to make to make sure that those fans fit in the printer very well. And I also designed this printer around the Meanwell 200 watt. So the LRS 200 is the power supply I'm running on the bottom. I designed the whole printer around those two kind of form factors. So this printer does use a lot of bearings because of that. I have to wrap the belts around the back 2020 extrusion. So this bearing does use 32 F695 bearings because of that. I'm basically moving the belt across the back and then towards the front and then across again and then towards the front so I can wrap it around those extrusions. The Panda, full-size Panda, won't do that. I will just make the frame slightly bigger so I don't need all those bearings and that type of thing. So that's kind of uh, something for people to note that, again, this printer does use a lot of bearings. And uh, we're actually chugging away here. Right? We're pretty much near the end of this print. I'm really happy too with how the stack of this Benji comes out. It's, it's not um, molten. It prints, does print very well. And that's our finished print there. It uh, does look pretty nice. I wish I would have shown the Benchy off a little bit at the end, but um, it's not meant to be like a crazy high quality Benchy. We can tell it looks like a, a pretty decent boat in, in the uh, video there. And like I say, I do have some very clean 13 minute and 44 second Benchies. So, but thanks everyone for watching. If you have more comments of the Panda Mini, check it out below. I'm going to add this to my Panda Mini playlist and there's going to be more Panda Mini uh, videos in the future. Thanks everyone and like, share and subscribe.